Hello from SlideNet and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In this video, we are going to talk about the table layout in Android. Now this is just another view group like your relative layout and linear layout. So first question, what is a table layout? It arranges views in rows and columns. Now what does that mean? Take a look at this image over here. I have column 1, column 2 and column 3. There are three different text views on the same row. And then if you see column 1 and column 2, there are two another text views which are on a different row. Now this is what your table layout does. It arranges stuff in rows and columns. So how do you define a row? Very simple. Use this class called table row in Java or use the table row XML tag to define a row in XML. All right. Now there is no need to define columns. Now remember, once you define a table row, you just keep adding views to it and they automatically translate or turn into columns all right now if you guys are from an HTML background you know very well there's a table tag there's a TR tag there's a TD tag there is no equivalent for TD in Android all right there's just table and TR now if you guys are not from an HTML background and you probably are confused about what I just said don't worry about that because it's no way related to HTML at all so here let's see each view you place inside the table row forms a column very simple i have three text views i place them one after each other just like that and they become columns automatically if i had a button over here and an edit text over here naturally they will also become columns that's how the table row, table layout works so here one more thing you should notice is the table layout it's a subclass of horizontal linear layout so next let us see how the code for this thing looks right now if you guys notice column one column two column three they are three text views right very simple you give wrap content wrap content for each of them and there's column one column two column three text then they are placed inside this table row example tag which i just discussed i have given this an id over here the width and height i've given some values but remember for a table row the width and height values do not matter and neither do the width and height values for these views matter now i'll show you that after some time why they don't matter and all but for now just remember that one then you have your text views over here again two more which is column one and column two and then they are inside this separate row now this is how you define a new row you say table row and that's going to go to the next line and start a new row all right and then this entire structure is placed inside this table layout tag now again it's very simple you guys have previously seen how linear linear layout and relative layout looks like compared to them this is very simple right so next let's discuss what is a table row so here if you guys notice column one column two column three table row is always match parent in width and wrap content and height you cannot change this each table row is always like that and that means that you don't have to give your width and layout height to a table row by default because android has already given these two values all right and next number of columns in the table layout is decided by the table row having maximum views now remember here you have three elements here you have two now suppose i put four down then that would be the number of columns inside your table layout there will be four columns and that's how things work so just to show you guys a small demonstration take a look i put four buttons over here and take a look how things adjust over here there was no space between column one and column two over here right and here if you guys look column one and column two have some space in between i have not written any code to put that space Android automatically does this with the table layout all right now the table layout adjusts the columns based on the number of elements inside a row column width automatically adjusts based on the size of the column with maximum width all right and now let's discuss what happens if you place a view outside a table row but inside a table layout now can you do this that is the first question you have yes you can do this so here if you guys take a look I have the table layout for width I've given a width and height now if you remember I told you that I'm not going to give a width and height to the table row because it's match parent and width and wrap content in height by default and I don't need to do anything for that and for the text view also I have not given any layout width and layout height over here the reason because since you have put the text view inside the table row it's going to be calculating its width and height automatically you don't have to do anything for that all right so that's why i have not given and this is a very good way because you don't have you you save a lot of lines avoiding that code and that makes things very neat all right so here if you see there's a text view so here if you see inside to inside and outside now if you take a look at this last text view over here for which i have given a background color and android text outside the table row now take a look this is outside your table row but inside your table layout so what happens to that well simple it goes and occupies a full row over here that's how things work so whenever you have a view which is outside your table row its width is going to be match parent by default and its height is going to be wrap content now let's see how we can modify this a little bit a view outside the table row and inside the table layout of my match parent and wrap content by default all right so let's go and see how that looks so here there's a uh, so slight modifications which i've done over here all right if you guys take a look over here you have the same table row you have the same uh, text view over here it says inside and there's another text view says inside too now but take a look 
what I have done over here is I have given this text view which is outside your table row a layout height of match palette and as you guys can see this blue color has filled up the entire screen indicating that now this text view which is outside table row is take, taking up match parent in width and match parent in height now if you add another view below this it is not going to be seen because this one already has a height of match parent right that's how things worked in linear layout if you guys remember and that's the same way they work in a table layout because a table layout is a specialized subclass of linear layout right so i hope you guys have understood something out of this vid if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys in the next video i'm going to start discussing about the different attributes of table layout and how you can customize the appearance in your table layout further so please stay tuned please feel free to share stuff with your friends or colleagues who may need help in android well thanks for sharing in advance